Bitches on the beach. Bitches on the beach. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lorenda, and I am back with another video. How y'all doing? How was y'all week? Let me know what process y'all in and how everything been going for y'all. I miss my YouTube family. Um, before we get started, I want y'all to like, subscribe, comment, and share my channel. Y'all, I'm just so excited about life, period. Like, it's been a long week, even though... Um, the truck felt the inspection is getting fixed. It should be ready today, actually. He's just double checking everything and gonna take care of my DOT inspection while he has the truck. But I do wanna start off by saying thank you all for all of the kind words, the encouragement. You know, they say your biggest supporters be the people you don't even know. So it's like I am getting this bond with you all and I really, really appreciate everything. Like. Trust me, I read the comments, I respond, I research what you all tell me. Like, we are all a big family here and we all learning together. So I just wanna say thank you all. It's always kind words, it's nothing, ne never anything negative. Like this is just a positive channel and I'm really excited. So today, um, I wanna talk about the sam.gov and a tweet card. Um, just explain the process and I'm gonna have a video and follow along. In that video, one of the videos, you're gonna see a little box of me. I was looking really, really serious too. So just ignore the box, but I screen recorded uh, how to sign up with the SBA and uh, login.gov and sam.gov. If you all aren't familiar with it, I'm gonna be talking about it as I go through the process, but sam.gov is it's the SAMS number. A lot of people don't know about the SAMS number, but it's the SAM number where you can um, go on to SBA.gov to get like federal contracts. And sometimes people land on like million dollar contracts. I know it's hard, but of course, if you stay consistent and just get in where you fit in, they'll eventually come around for you. Um, you can have your trucks bidded on there, like your box trucks, yes, dump trucks, yes, semis. You can also um, sign up for different programs as far as like woman minority and veteran and LGBT. It's different ones. Like I'm gonna show you everything so I won't have to repeat myself. Like, so I won't sound repetitive in the video, but it is a follow along. So, you know, you all can just take notes. But again, I want all of us to get somewhere. You know, I don't know if this is temporary for some people or if this is gonna be a lifetime, but whether it's temporary or a lifetime, you can um, bust some big moves with a Sam's number and a Twit card. And we'll talk about it. So just follow along and get some paper, take some notes, and let's jump right into it. Wait a minute. Before we jump into the video, I want to tell y'all, excuse me if I sound like I'm everywhere on a computer because they literally going to have you jumping back and forth with screens. And see, I have three computer screens, and if you don't have three computer screens, it's going to be kind of difficult. Not really difficult, you just got to remember what you're doing. Or you can pull it up on your phone, so if one site say go here, then just pull it up on your phone so you can see, just follow along. So I apologize in advance, like if the video seems a little confusing, if you don't understand what I'm saying, then just let me know. Of course, I'll shoot you an email. I have my email in the description as well, but um, just follow along with it. Now we can jump into it. Okay, everyone. So this is the sba.gov website. On this website, you will be able to learn about all of the different programs that they have for everyone. There is, um, you see different tabs at the top as far as like business guides, funding programs, federal contracting, learning platforms, local assistance, and about the SBA. Please spend some time on each of these tabs so you will know what you are going to be getting yourself into when you go through with the SBA. It is something major and it does take time, so just be patient. All right, so minority-owned businesses. 
This right here will just give you a breakdown of all of the different minority-owned businesses of and funding programs, guys. So if you just scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see Hub Zone. Hub Zone is a program where if you're in a low-income area, they'll give you like extra help, basically. Um, to get to apply for the Hub Zone, you have to have a Sam.gov account and a log a login.gov account. If you go to login.gov, it's just really simple. It just really gives you access to all of the different. It just gives you access to like the government websites. So you have to have a login.gov website, and I'm gonna show you. Well, login username. I'm gonna show you what that looks like also. So this is the Sam.gov page. What you would do is click on uh, Get Started. Once you click on Get Started, it'll show you to go to login.gov to start the process. And this is where you will start the process at for login.gov. It's pretty self-explanatory. Click on Individual, and then you can create you an account. Y'all hear the birds chirping? I'm sitting outside just trying to show you all everything. So yeah, this is where um, you can create an account. You can enter your email address. It's really, it's, this is probably the easiest process of them all. So you go to sam.gov and you'll click on get started here. Um, you have to have a DUNS number in order to do this. It'll take you to the link if you don't have one. Get all of your information together, like your EIN number, if you have a cage number. If not, this process will provide you with one. And then the next step is go to uh, login.gov, which is what I showed you all before. So, like I said, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I'm just showing you all the whole process. Then you'll go to submit and finish after you finish that. So you'll go up in the corner to where it says entity registration home. You click on that. And then I already have an account, so I could just sign in, but then you all can just create one. When you are creating this sam.gov to get your SAMS number, please make sure you put everything in correct all the way down to the LLC. So this information right here just talks about the hub zone, hub zone program. I'm clicking on women my own businesses since this I'm a woman owned business. I'm going to be applying for this is what I'm applying for. It takes 10 business days to get the information back to see if you approve, but like they are really, really strict. So like I said, if you apply for something and you leave off the LLC and your business is an LLC, they will reject it and send it back. So I had to do that. So now I'm just, um, it's my, my application is like a work in progress. But to see if you're eligible, you can just click on the requirements, program requirements. And then you'll be able to scroll down and click on a hyperlink that'll give you more information for the requirements. It's coming, y'all. So follow this Am I Eligible page here. This Am I Eligible will allow you to see everything that you're qualified for. Everything that you're qualified for. And this is how you get started. They show you multiple times of how to get started on here. But to start off mainly, I would say start off at the SBA.gov site. Because I know I'm jumping around. But it's, it's basically, it's, it's pretty much repetitive. And it's showing you triple times how to do it so you won't mess up. But if you don't have a DUNS number, you can click the link to get your DUNS number. And then to get the SAMS number, you just click that link and it'll provide you with, this, you know, get you started for the SAMS number. So, federal contracting. This is where you can get your federal contracts once you are 
approved for the SBA program. You'll just go to the federal contracting tab. You can click on the contracting guide, the assistance program, and they also have help. Moving on to the TWIC card. The TWIC card is a card that you will need to enter like ports, airports, um, just government, anything with the government, like you're going to need it. You do have to get fingerprints done and everything. Um, this is the way you can apply. You can go online. You can schedule an appointment online for the TWIC card, or you can uh, call them also. The application fee is $125, but it says new application fee is $105. So I'll be going for that reduced rate. But sometimes on low boards, you will see people, you will see on the low boards like you must have a TWIC card in order to access the facility. Um, this is the FAQs. I went through all of them. It's really, really great information. So just take your time and research everything guys it'll be worth it thank you for watching that video and again do your own research y'all i am not a 100 percent sure person know-it-all none of that i have been researching so please do your research also if you are second guessing because i'm not saying that i'm always right I'm just telling y'all what I've been learning and what I have learned and what I'm going to continue to learn. So do your research about the Gov, about the um, SBA. Uh, take advantage of all of the resources that they have for us because it's there. People just don't talk about it. So use the resources as much as you can. If you know anything about the information, please drop a comment below. If you don't mind helping other people, um, just drop it in the comments of more wisdom and knowledge as to what I've already stated. And thank you so much, y'all. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all later this week.